Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a nice brand new package from Best Buy today that I'm going to unbox. This is a um, steel book that is actually a day early, which is awesome. I, rarely, I very rarely get these early. I, I lots of people get them on the weekend before. I never do, but this time I got it early, so that's awesome. Hold on, actually, let me get this packing slip. Yeah, okay. All right, and it is Ready Player One. And I actually thought I got the 4K one, but I guess I did not. Let me check and see. It doesn't say on here. Well, I must not have. I'll check later to be sure, but uh, whatever. Um, it's not embossed or anything. It is the, um, as you can see, it's the Ready Player One uh, steel book. Um, the regular Blu-ray version, not the 4K version, which is fine because I don't have 4K TV, so. Um, what's that say? That's funny. It says Best Buy, only Best Buy includes Blu-ray Steelbook. That's kind of weird. It should just say Steelbook probably, but of course it's included. But um, anyway, looking cool. I never got to see this in theaters. Um, I heard I heard mostly good things. I haven't read the book either, so I don't know if it's accurate or anything or... Whatnot. It got pretty good reviews. Steven, yeah, I can't even speak. Steven Spielberg film. Um, oop, so there's just one sticker up here. Ah, love that. Well, they're doing that from now on. Like it seems like they're doing that a lot more often now. Just one little sticker. It's a lot easier to deal with for us. Let's take a look at the back here quick. Actually, it says "Be excited for" from Fandango. Director Steven Spielberg's science fiction action adventure reveals a chaotic, collapsing world in the year 2045. Excuse me, shit. 2045 isn't that far away, so hopefully that's not true. Salvation lies in the Oasis, a fantastical virtual reality universe created by the brilliant and eccentric James Halliday. When Halliday dies, his immense fortune is left to the first person who can find a little Easter egg hidden in the Oasis. Joining the hunt is unlikely young hero Wade Watts, who is, whirl, excuse me, who is hurled into a breakneck, reality-bending quest filled with mystery, discovery, and danger. And special features, it says, Journey alongside Steven Spielberg and the cast for 90 minutes of bonus content with Easter eggs, 80s nostalgia, and how they achieve the impossible plus more. So it's not actually telling me what's in it, it's just a bunch of shit's in it. Comes to a dual copy, which is the movies anywhere, which means it probably won't share with Voodoo or whatever, so... Everyone's doing that now. Blah. Looks like King Kong. That looks like... I can't tell what that looks like. That's just the character. And there's the Iron Giant. That's cool. And then... I can't tell. It looks like Space Marines. So, yeah. Those are the people in the movie, it looks like. So, so here it is. This is very matte. Not glossy at all. Is there a spine slash? I don't think so. This is very, very matte. Hmm. I don't know if that, it's not, whatever, I don't know. Huh. It almost looks, actually, look up this close. I kind of wish this were glossy. I feel like the, the colors would pop a little better. This is kind of wasted. I feel like this should also be, um, what do you call it, embossed or something. Yeah. I don't know, this, I think this could look a little better. It's fine, though. Let me get the digital copy out of there. So here is the Blu-ray. Regular Blu-ray. It's got a picture of a key on there. And then the DVD. And another key. It's a different key, actually. And there's a guy holding a key. So there's just keys everywhere. Which, again, I'm assuming are important to the movie, but I haven't seen it. Or the movie and the book. And then I assume it's the same character. So that's the real guy in the real world. And this is him in his on the Oasis, I assume. Ready Player One. I remember this is being talked about for a very long time to be adapted at some point. And then I remember hearing lots of people talk about how awesome it would be. And I remember the tra the, the first poster I saw was with this, I think it was would have been this character actually online. It's, it was on a ladder and his leg was like six feet long. And it was really weird looking and this looked weird to me. But uh, yeah. I don't know, something about this makes it seem kind of plain. I feel like I don't like, the colors aren't popping right. This is for, for a very visually stunning film, apparently. I would like the, this to look a little better. I don't know. Kind of boring. I don't know if... Yeah. The the, the initial, um, what do you call it? The um, key art that they used when they, when they first announced it. Look with the picture of the, like the three keys in the front. And at first I didn't like that, but the green might have popped better. I don't know. I'm just complaining about shit now, so... Just ignore me. So yeah, anyway... That's all. I'm still going to watch it, of course. I'm looking forward to watching. Like I said, it's something I wanted to watch 
over the summer, but I just never got a chance to watch it. But um, anyway, um, actually, who's where did the thing go? Who's even in this? Zoom in on the the credits here. Um, Ty Sheridan. So that's who that is. Olivia Cook, Ben Mendelsohn, T.J. Miller, of course, Simon Pegg, Mark Rylance, and that's it for the listed ones. Screenplay by Zach Penn and Ernest Klein. Ernest Klein. Hmm. All right. Anyway, I'm just babbling now. Who cares? Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later for more steel books and garbage unboxings, and uh, you'll watch or you won't. So. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you and talk to you and show you later. So, uh, bye. <laughs>